really good at factoring these problems. There's no extra step. It's pretty basic. We're going to get x minus 4 and x plus 3. So far, so good? Are we done? No. Now what? Set each one equal to 0. Okay. One last little step. We add 4, we get x equals 4. We subtract 3, we get x equals negative 3. And we're done. How many will feel okay with solving these things? Good, very good. Now, we get to move on to chapter 7.6, or lesson 7.6, I should say. And in this section, we're going to talk about how to solve some problems. I'm going to give you a couple techniques. We'll be able to deal with several different problems. It, it, I know problem solving is probably not your favorite thing in the world to do. Yeah. Isn't the negative three negative three plus three equals zero? Oh, good. Yeah, we had to. Keep, we had to, forgot to check that. Uh, yes, you do need to check your answers. So the four works. You caught the negative three. Does, does everyone see what she's talking about? Yeah. You, I, I said last time I broke my own little rule. Good catch. I was just testing you. You passed. <laughs> yeah, the 4 is just fine because we plug that in and it makes 7 and 7. But she's absolutely right. The negative 3, if I put that in there, I get 0 on the denominator. That's not a good thing. So you do have to cross that one out. Yeah, we only get one solution there. Good call. Thank you. Okay, anything else that we've got up there? <laughs>